Apart from the problems that we've seen, we also notice that some water lathers heavily with soap and some water do not lather even if you keep on rubbing soap into them. Now let's understand the chemistry behind its chemical mystery. Now there are two kinds of water, hard water and soft water. Hard water is which does not lather with soap and soft water is which lathers with soap. If you have this kind of water, you will have dull hair and stained utensils. The hard water basically are of two types. One is a temporary hard water whose hardness can be removed and permanent hard water whose hardness cannot be removed. Let's understand these well. The salts of calcium and magnesium are responsible for your hardness of water. So when we talk of temporary hardness of water, we have calcium and magnesium. What salts? We have the hydrogen carbonate salts, CaHCO3 whole 2, and we have CaHCO3 whole 2, MgHCO3 whole 2. This is the reason, or these are the chemicals which are there in temporary hardness of water. Now let's talk of the uh, permanent hardness of water. Permanent hardness of water is also caused by calcium and magnesium salts but the calcium and magnesium salts are the chlorides for example calcium chloride or magnesium chloride okay or it is calcium sulfate CaSO4 or magnesium sulfate. These are the reason these salts are present to make them temporary or permanent hardness of in water we remove temporary hardness of water we know that these are the substances which are there CaHCO3 or MgHCO3 so if we boil them what happens is their carbonate comes okay and his carbonate will also come and these carbonates are precipitates that means they get into the yeah, this can be filtered out they are insoluble and you know you have a uh, water and you have carbon dioxide, you have water here also and carbon dioxide here also and they uh, escape as a gas and the residual water is rendered soft. Remove permanent hardness of water. We know that permanent hardness is caused by the sulfate of calcium or magnesium. We're taking one as an example and then you have to use washing soda to it. What is washing soda? It is Na2CO3. Once you add that, what is the idea? Idea is to remove the sulfate, right? Hence, we are adding this. So we get CaCO3. CaCO3 is a precipitate and uh, it can be easily removed and you get Na2SO4. And once the sulfate is removed, it is soft. This is permanent hardness of water. Now, do, how do you remove permanent as well as temporary hardness of water, P plus T, together? So, one is by using washing soda. This is for permanent hardness and this is for temporary hardness. For example, CaHCO3 whole 2 is for temporary hardness. We have seen use the same thing, which is washing soda, Na2CO3. You will get CaCO3 as a precipitate and 2NaHCO3. NaHCO3. This is N, huh? So, this is the reason that we use washing soda as the substance to remove the two kinds of water, permanent and temporary. I am that you, you should go and practice the equations because just seeing the video won't help you. It is just understanding and we wish you all the best for exams. Thank you. Bye.